Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, I'm going to do a code along with you so you can finally add files to your orders. In other words, when clients check out on your store and they want to add a file or an image or something to it, they can finally do that now. This is going to be so much easier. Like it's gonna make your life much, much easier. But before we go ahead and jump in, in below in the description, there is a link. If you click on that, fill in your information, you will receive an email with all of the codes that I'm going to be copying, pasting within the theme. So you don't have to kind of, you know, figure out the code. No, just copy and paste it. Keep it simple, people. And by the way, next to that link, if you go a little bit up to the right, there is a subscribe button and a like button, and it would really mean the world to me if, uh, you know, you would click both. All right, enough about that. Let's just jump straight into our very ugly store right here. So um, actually, let me show you what it currently looks like. So you know, I'm not bamboozling you. If I go on a product, um, I can, you know, add it to cart, I can buy it now, but I cannot add my own image to it. Now it's jewelry. I wouldn't know why. So how do we do that? All right, let's get out of here because there ain't nothing to do. We go to online store right here. And first and foremost, and this is a super important, I say this in every video and in every video, there's someone that doesn't do it and then cries about it in the comments. You have to duplicate your theme. So you see, this is the current team. We go to actions, we go to duplicate and ta-da, it's currently duplicating. Why is that important? Now we're going to be working on this version. If we make a mistake, it doesn't affect our live version. Like I don't have to close down my store because I, I messed something up. We can just delete this version. If you don't do this and you work on your live version and you make a mistake, you are booped. And then you're going to be in the comments. Ah, oh, this doesn't work, Andrew. You screwed over my store. Um, so yeah, no, duplicate your store. Super important. All right, now that you have the duplicate right here, we click on actions and we go into edit code. We're gonna go to templates. So it should look like this when you load and we're gonna go to templates right here and we're going to add a new template. Uh, from the dropdown, we're going to be choosing product and we're not gonna call it alternate, but we're going to call it exactly the same way as in the document below, again, follow the link, put in your information, and you will get a email with the code. It's going to be called customizable. Now be careful when you copy it that there is no spacing before or after that's completely unwanted because it might not work. Create the template. Okay, next we're going to be looking for a line of code. So I can actually see it uh, already right here. It's the product template section, but in case you don't see it for, I don't know what reason. The easiest way to do it is on your keyboard, you do command F for Mac, control F for Windows. There is this little search that pops up and you just type in, copy paste exactly the term that we're searching that's mentioned in the doc in the link below, and you will see it appears right here. Okay, so in our case, it's on line number five. For you, it might be somewhere completely different. I'm not familiar with your specific theme. But we're going to remove that and we're going to replace it. So we don't need this anymore. Au revoir, bye bye, bon voyage. And we replace it with what is provided. Um, in the um, in the document. And by the way, what we're doing is actually we're referring to a new section that we're actually going to be building right now. But first, let's save this bad boy right here or bad girl, not judging, you know, I, a lot of women in tech, they're fantastic. I have a lot of female developers on my team and they're awesome. Um, so saving it. Um, <laughs> you see that I sometimes get these recordings get long. Now we're going to go to the left in the section department right here, and we're going to be adding a new section. Create a new section called, again, just copy, paste it exactly like in the document provided. And again, make sure that there is no spacing in your title in the beginning or after. 
So there's no unnecessary spacing. Perfect. It's exactly like it was in the document. We create the section. It's building the section. It's and there we go. Our section is created. Now we are have to change the code within this. All of this is not necessary, so we can delete that. So in the section directory right here, we're going to search for product template or something in the line here, product template.liquid. We command A on a Mac, control A on a Windows, and we copy all of that. Then we go back, we close this, and we go back to the product customizable template section that we've just built, which is product customizable template, this one, and we paste it. The exact same code. Boom, paste, done. Oof. Okay, so now we're going to be looking for uh, the type is equal to submit. So command F on a Mac, control F on a Windows, and we type in type is equal to submit, close the brackets. Here we go, we have a button, type is equal to submit. And now that we found that, we're going to, you know, go at, at the beginning here. So right before the button, not here, right here, you type enter in a couple of times, so you create spacing. Spacing is absolutely no problem. You can create as much spaces as you like. It will not affect your code. And then in that new created white space, you're going to copy paste the line item property that is provided in the document. So in this case, we're asking for a custom picture. We click save. Now we go to online store and we need to put our version alive. Otherwise, the next step will not work. So um, do this when you don't have too much traffic because there might still be a bug on your site. So go into online store. This is the version we have worked on. You go to action and you go to publish. It's going to ask you if you're sure that you want to publish. You're going to say, yep, I'm sure already. And there you go. Now our version is live. Why is this important? It's because we have to change the template of the product we want to have the additional feature on. It's gonna be clear in just a second. So now go to products, and let's say you want people to upload an image to um, this brace, uh, this letter bag right here. I don't know why, but you maybe want to print their face on the letter bag, so they need to upload a picture of their face. So you go to products, you choose the project you want. In this case, it's the letter bag. And then you scroll down and you go to team templates. You click and now you will have the uh, product dot customizable that's available right here. You can ignore the other ones, um, but you should now have product dot, dot customizable because we just created it a second ago. You choose that one and you save. So as simple as that. Now you can view, and there you go. There is no file chosen. Uh, I can choose a file and I add it to cart. Oh, there is one big problem though. This entire solution will not work with the Ajax pop-up cart like this. You will have to have the cart page. So. That's the last step that we have to do. We have to go to online store right here. Okay, so to change that, we're gonna go and customize. Bala bala, we're gonna go to home page. Actually, no, team settings right here on the bottom. I'm sorry. Uh, so right here, team settings, add to cart notification. We're going to be removing the show notification when an item is moved to the cart. And we're gonna save that. And there we go, let's go back to products right here to see how it looks on our life side, our black letter bag that has no secret. Um, we do it in view. We can choose a file. I have no idea what this picture is. I just added a file, an image right there, and I do add to cart, and it will bring me to the cart page with a link to the photo. 
I can check out and we're good to go. Now I, as a store owner, will get the link to the pictures people upload. And that's really gonna make my life much easier if you have a print on demand or anything like that store. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Make sure to share it with a friend. Check out our other dev videos when I have a green hoodie. Make sure to like and subscribe. I also do Shopify app reviews. There is one right here that you probably might wanna check out, Product Builder, if you're doing this. You know, this might be very useful and time-saving for you. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. Make sure to check out the full channel. It's just about Shopify and I will see you in another video. Adios!